Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, Mad Mike, coming at you guys with yet another film breakdown. And this is just to kind of give you guys an idea of why I personally believe that Dirt Cutter is one of the most uh, overrated, useless offensive coordinators in the new NFL. We're talking about the new NFL. He is a pretty good co coordinator if you're just looking for deep concepts, a college type of, uh, offense where it's just deep shots and um, you don't have to worry about too many, you know, you know, different types of concepts as far as blitzing, different blitzes, different types of coverages and whatnot. Dirt Cut is perfect for that. All right. If you just want a simplified offense and just we're just going to sit back and we're going to throw the ball with our, you know, our, our our elite quarterback, Dirk Cutter's your guy. But there's a penalty for that. He gets some hit. And he gets some hit a lot. He does not like to run the ball at all. So it's just frustrating from a team by the Atlanta Falcons who have a, you know, one of, without a doubt, one of the greatest receivers of all time and Julio Jones, Matt Ryan, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Um, I don't think anybody can debate whether or not, um, whether or not these guys are Hall of Famer. Of course, they are Hall of Famers, but it goes in to show you the play call and the horrendous play call and that's pretty much been ca causing the Atlanta Falcons offense to sputter, um, especially in this game against the New Orleans Saints. And, you know, again, man, I just don't want to see the Falcons go down this rabbit hole again. And this is the reason why I'm recapturing um, the Falcons offense. Um, I tend to do a lot of defensive um kind of focus on the Falcons defense but now it's time to just focus on the offense and here we go all right this is the first play man obviously you know this is the first play of the game and it's something that I I just I I I just I don't get I just don't get this just just look at the way this play and I'm going to tell you guys why this shit is just absolutely garbage all right, we're going to look at it again. We're going to start off from the very beginning and we're going to pause here. All right, this is where I say that this just absolutely makes no sense to me. All right, at the bottom of the screen, you got Julio Jones, right? Here is Todd Gurley. They're obviously, Calvin really up top. Hayden Harris, Star Luke Stalker right here. Looks like a, you look like you're going to run the ball. All right. For the most part, you look like you're gonna run the you're gonna run the ball. You're gonna double team Cam Jordan. Julio Jones is gonna come in motions. And again, this is all about route concepts. How you utilize not only uh, Calvin really Julio Jones, but most importantly Hayden Hurst. And this Hayden Hurst is just he's such a target, such a matchup problem for any defense. And yet, Dirt Cutter does absolutely nothing absolutely nothing to like to maximize this guy's talent and this this play just makes me freaking sick all right let's let's see it all right julio sends uh, he sends julio in motion and just again look at the route concept this is the route concept all right again route concept this is the reason why i'm saying this absolutely makes no sense i don't know whether or not this is a mistake by either luke stalker or Hayden Hurst, one of these guys was supposed to go out and kind of, you know, get the attention of the linebackers. Nothing absolutely happened. So I'm going to assume, all right, again, route concept. Based on just the route concepts and what happened, he kept Luke Starker in to block um, Cam Jordan. Maybe this is supposed to have been a chip by Hayden Hurst. This could have very well been a chip. He didn't chip. He stayed in and blocked um, Hayden Hurst. But the route concepts for me, it's just like, this is the thing. This is the reason why I have a, a problem with this. Not only do you send Julio on a deep route, but you send Calvin Ridley on a post route instead of a dig route. This is the issue. These are the things that I'm talking about with route concepts. If Calvin Ridley goes into the dig route, takes on not only that safety, Julio is going to he's going to immediately take out that safety, okay? Just by his sheer mere presence, you know, Julio is going to take out both of those, both of those, I know, D DBs, all right? He's going to do that. So it becomes a question of whether or not it's the rock concepts or it's Calvin Ridley's IQ, all right? He continues on the deep post. He keeps on the deep post instead of taking a dig route. 
Okay? That's what I got a problem with. The route concepts. If you come and take away, if you take away that middle part, not only do you have Julio on this side, but you have Todd Gurley right here. You take these guys away, you take away the middle. Todd Gurley is wide open one on one. I, and I'm, I'm still one of those people that believes Todd Gurley can make someone miss, especially, you know, a. a, a, a a one-on-one -on -one opportunity this is a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Todd Gurley to make a play and this is an opportunity for not only you know Julio Jones to get the ball but you know your boy did not take the the dig right away. like they didn't take the dig right so my issue with this man is just all the raw concepts just makes absolutely no sense we're going to see it in this book if it would have just at least had the dig route in, in in the middle but this is the first play of the game and this has been a absolute, um, this has been a trend with the Falcons. They run up, they get in run formation, okay? We're going to go right back to the beginning. Right to the beginning, look at the office on the, uh, the set. And again, this is all, this is telling the defense, this is all about this is the run. They are most likely going to use a stretch play. They're going to go to a stretch play to the right side. And they did absolutely nothing. All right. The reason why this play doesn't work as far as um, the running of uh, the linebackers are concerned. Because the Falcons have just, they haven't, Dirk Cutter has not run the ball enough. In order for you to at least make the defense think twice of whether or not it is a play action or run play, it have to commit to the run if you don't commit to the run you're not going to sell you're not going to fool anybody and this is the reason why a lot of these concepts for the falcons as far as the passing is concerned and the play action is concerned they don't fool anybody it's because they don't commit to the run and this is the reason why i say the falcons have to they must bring in a guy offensively to at least establish the running game. And this is something, again, this is something that Dirk Cutter just absolutely has no concept in. And like I said, if you, for at least, okay, at least send these guys, or you're going to see it from another, but if, if you at least continue to run the play, that play at least fools the linebackers, makes the run linebackers do something. And like that, like they're not focused on, they're not worried about anybody. And that play goes for a little game, all right? Yes, it got a couple of yards, but again, man, this goes back to Brock concepts. And why I just think Dirt Cutter, again, man, this is another trend. This is another trend with Dirt Cutter, all right? He lines up and obviously run, run, um, run formations and looks, and the dude passes out of it. This is the thing that bothers me most. You cannot continuously pass out of run formations. And then you get in a shotgun. You're in obviously you're in obvious, obvious shotgun situations equals the pass. So they're gonna bring in their best pass rush and they're gonna give it for the quarterback. And that's how Matt Ryan has been getting a lot of heat uh, on him lately. So again, this goes back. You look, it looks like a run formation. It looks, it seems to be a good run formation. Look like the Falcons are going to run the ball, but here we go. Huh. Matt Ryan checks. Right, Julio, I mean, everybody know what it is. Everybody know. Let's see it again. We're going to see it again. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You're not fooling anybody. That play fools no one. Why? Because you don't run the ball out of those formations. Okay? You don't run the ball out of those formations. And, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He makes the catch. But these are the reasons why they don't work. The Falcons have to stop with the ego main, like, the egos. They have Calvarelli. They have Julio Jones. Just because you have those guys doesn't mean you got to pass the ball every freaking time. And it's just incredibly frustrating. So if the Falcons want to continue to at least win some games, you know what I'm saying? They got to get back to running the ball, man. It's definitely some sort of running game. And, like, this is the issue that I have with the Falcons, man. We're going to watch this play develop. I'm um, going to give you guys three plays.
We're gonna watch this play develop, man. And here we go. Play action fake. Again, you remember what I was saying about, you know, just getting the Falcons just, you know, using play action. This is another thing that I've had an argument with a few guys. It's like, yeah, the Falcons are getting, um, you know, they're running play action, but what good is the play action if you're not actually going to run the ball? It's just, a, you know, it's just, it's just a fake. You know what I'm saying? It's just a fake. And again, as long as you have Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, you're going to complete some passes. But if you want to add another element to the offense, you got to run the ball. Got to run the ball more. This is the reason why the Falcons offense has been so up and down is because your offensive coordinator makes it one dimensional. You cannot make your offense one dimensional. Anytime you have a one dimensional offense, this is what happens. You continuously see Matt Ryan and the offense up and down. All right. Again, another run formation. We're going to see how this develops. Okay, again, a play action fake. Yep, see, you see what I'm saying? These are the things that we talk about. These are the things that we're talking about. You get in run formations and you pass out of run formations. Why does he continuously do this thing? I have absolutely, absolutely no clue. So, Dirk Cutter, I'm telling you guys, like, this is the reason why the Falcons offense continues to struggle and a lot of people just saying, okay, we just need a new quarterback. No, we don't need a new quarterback. We need the offensive coordinator who can at least have some sort of imagination, creativity. The creativity with this is just all predicated on the pass. He's just so focused on the pass. Let's get the ball. Let's play action play. Let's play action fake just to get the ball out of Matt Ryan's hand. Play action pass to give to Keith Smith. You're getting the ball in the hand of Keith Smith. Who in the bloody hell is worried about Keith Smith? Let's just be real. Who's worried about Keith Smith? Nobody. He's the last person that you'd be worried about. Focus on. So if the Falcons are going to continue to, you know, do anything, man. It has to start with better play calling. If you're gonna bring in a new offensive coordinator, you're gonna bring in a new head coach, the new head coach has to understand that you have to commit to the run. You cannot continuously run the same plays and expect the defense to just bow down to your playmakers, bow down to Julio Jones, bow down to Matt Ryan. It doesn't work that way. So let me know what you guys think about this breakdown. This has been a breakdown with your boy Mad Mike. I am absolutely not a film expert, nor that I, you know, want to be labeled with a, a, a expert. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a regular fan, just like you. But I know my football. You know what I'm saying? I know my football. I do my research, and I'm gonna give you guys absolutely nothing but the truth and the facts in the matter. So let me know what you guys think about this. If you like this film breakdown. You know, go ahead and tell your boy in the comment section, man. Leave your comment section. More uh, more film breakdown for your boy. Um, just say more uh, film breakdowns in the comments, and I will definitely work on more videos for you guys. So, again, check out your boy, Atlanta Falcons Nation. All right? Trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. All right? We're trying to get 1,000 subscribers on the Atlanta Falcons Nation. So, let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments below. Your boy, man, Marcus Hot, man. Peace.